exercise 3-3. In this exercise, we're going to use a function called VLOOKUP to help us retrieve information from this table based on the tour package code and the number of persons who are joining a tour. Here you have the uh, two fields that are going to be input to the VLOOKUP function. So let me um, put a yellow background on these cells so that you'll know that they're going to be input cells. Okay, so what we want to happen is if somebody types the code, the tour code, for example, HKG06 here, we want the uh, description Hong Kong Dolphin Watch to show up here. And furthermore, if I enter a number of people who are joining a tour, like eight, we would like the price for that number of people to show up here. And we also want the total amount, which would be the number of persons multiplied by the price to show up here. And uh, that would be a really good and useful tool for people who want to give a price quotation to a number of um, interested prospects who might want to join our tours. So how do we get this to work? We're going to use a function called VLOOKUP. Now VLOOKUP takes four arguments and we're going to uh, start by entering the function here in B18 for description. So equal VLOOKUP and it starts with a V and we can see from the list of suggested functions that there's a VLOOKUP here so I simply select that. All right, and the first argument to VLOOKUP is the value that you're searching for in the lookup table. And the value that we're searching for is whatever value is typed into B17. So B17 is our lookup value, comma. The second argument is the table, the lookup table. Now our lookup table starts in A5 on the upper right hand corner and it ends with E12 on the lower right hand corner. So I simply select that with my mouse and you'll see that Excel has typed in my selection right here. A5 colon E12. Now the third argument is the column number of the value that contains the tour package description because you know our lookup table has five columns so we need to tell VLOOKUP if the um, answer that we want is in column one two three four or five now the description is in column two of the table so our third argument will be two and the last argument is going to be false false means we're looking for an exact match that means whatever tour code is entered in B17 we want it to match exactly character by character whatever tour package values there are in column A or the first column of our lookup table. So I'm going to type false and I press enter. Okay, right now it says not available because we haven't entered any code here in B17. So now I'm going to enter one of our codes. I'm going to enter HKG02 and when I press enter, it shows us the description Hong Kong Island tour with three star hotel stay, which is correct. Now let me enter a different one, HKG08, and it retrieves the correct tour description name. Okay, so this is the VLOOKUP that we just entered and um, it does the job very well. Now let's enter a VLOOKUP that will retrieve the price based on the tour package code and the number of persons. So let's get started. VLOOKUP, again, we just uh, selected from this list. All right, so same thing, our lookup value is going to be the tour package code, comma. Our lookup table will be A5 as the uh, starting cell and E12 is the ending cell. So A5 colon E12 is our range reference. Now for the price. The price can be in either column three, column four, or column five of the table. And um, that presents us with some problems because right now we can't really predict what column 
to put in the third argument because we don't really know what people will type into the number of persons in B19. So at this point, if I just simply put three here, that wouldn't work because some people might put 12 persons in the number of persons and then the correct column number would be five, not three. So at this point, we can't really decide which column number to use. We need to use an if function. Remember, an if function can give you two or more possible answers based on a logical test. So let's get that working here. Okay, so I'm going to use an if function now because the column number that I'm going to use will be three, four, or five depending on what is entered in B19. So I'm going to use an if function. Now we have to be very careful with our parentheses. The if function is going to be the third argument of the VLOOKUP, so I have to it has to come with its own open and close parentheses. And my last argument is going to be a false, just like before. So now let's work on the arguments of the if function here to determine what column number we're going to use. So our logical test will depend on what is entered in B19. So if B19 is greater than or equal to 10, our column number will be 5 because for 10 people and above, the price will be in the fifth column. Now, if this is false, our column number will either be 3 or 4, but how do we decide? Again, we need another if. So this is going to be the third argument of the if function. So this is a nested if. And we have to make sure that we give it a, um, whoops, we give it an open and close parenthesis. Okay. So again, same thing. If B19 is greater than or equal to 4, that means it's less than 10, but it's greater than or equal to 4, it falls within 4 to 9 persons, then the answer will be in column 4. And if it's not, then it most definitely will be column 3. Okay, so let's review what we've just done. Here's the VLOOKUP. Again, the first argument is B17, the tour code. The lookup table is A5 to E12, which is this range. And the column number will be either a 5 if uh, the number of persons is greater than or equal to 10. It will be a 4 if the number of persons is less than 10 but greater than or equal to 4. And it will be 3 if the number of persons is less than four, which is one to three persons. Okay, and uh, now I'm gonna press enter. Now let's see if this works. So let me put a um, proper number here. Um, let me put six and press enter. And you'll see that for six people taking the uh, HKG08 tour, the answer is 735. Now, what if I change this to 13 people, it becomes 688. Now, if I change the tour code up here, okay, and I change the uh, number of persons, okay, so you have to um, test your VLOOKUP and make sure it works. Mm, type in a few possibilities here, one person, okay. Now, of course, if I were to type in zero, uh, ideally, you would like your VLOOKUP to display an error message, but this is an advanced feature, and um, we're not going to be learning how to do this in the lab right now. Okay, and uh, finally, the total amount for the entire group is going to be number of persons, B19 times the price. So B19 times B20. Press enter. And by the way, the model answers for this exercise are down here as well. And to be safe, you could make A5 colon E12, the range reference, as absolute, so that no matter where you copy this VLOOKUP function to, you will always be referring to A5 colon E12 for the lookup table.